Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we will be learning about Azure support plans that are offered by Microsoft. If you can go with this Microsoft uh, web page, which talks about the compassion of uh, different support plans that we have within the Microsoft Azure. So the first plan would be if you sign up with Microsoft Azure, you would be getting as a basic plan, which is a free of cost. So regardless of uh, your uh, what kind of you know support plan you have taken, you will be getting your free support on the listed issues. But this is uh, very limited. If you can uh, look at the scope of this support is all the available Azure resource accounts. Uh, it's going to give a support with the 24 by 7 accessing to the billing and subscription support only. That means uh, if you have some issues with the billing or you have uh, some issues with your subscription then you would be you no know, getting but not the technical and also you will be getting for the online self-help and documentation white papers support and forums that means these are publicly available uh, in fact the documentation whatever it is available and the self-help all these are publicly available and you would be getting that support so there's nothing much you would be getting out of free uh, basic support but other way, you are getting actually very good support on the billing issues. Let's say you have some billing issue or maybe uh, some kind of issues on the subscription specific. You'll be getting it. And also best practices, you will be getting a set of uh, information from Microsoft Azure advisory recommendation. You will be getting it. And also health notifications uh, like we talked about the health uh, service health and other things so that you are going to get the help. The next one would be the developer support. This you need to you know by even uh, as a separate if you are the developer. So you would be you know, getting the developer support with unlimited contact and unlimited cases. Uh, and you can you know access for uh, self uh, C kind of you know, tickets with the eight hours or with the general guidance on architecture support also. You can get this support. And if you see the billing, um, this is actually charging close to $29 per month. Whereas the next level of the support is the most common which would be the standard where you would be charged to close to $100 per month uh, with added advantages like uh, you can have the self B and self A tickets with a response of uh, 4 hours and 1 hour for self A category tickets and uh, when you go back to the professional direct support which is a close to 1000 USD support that means 1000 USD to be you know, paid to get a per month a support on a professional direct where you would be getting almost all kind of you know access and uh, here or uh, not just the architectural support you can get this support and the best practices delivery by pro direct delivery manager directly one engineer one uh, direct uh, delivery manager will be assigned to you and you can get this support directly from them on your designing and your architectural guidance and uh, coming back to the operational support ongoing any of the services uh, also they are going to you know give you the consultation services uh, will be provided by microsoft and you will be getting the uh, as your engineering lead uh, web seminars also this is as I said you know it's a thousand dollars per month now the highest level support called premium support which can be met up with the uh, enterprise agreement support so you would be getting almost all all of these kind of you know, services but if you see here the critical impact of the response time is uh, almost 15 minutes for as your rapid response and uh, there is a dedicated team who's going to support you and more experts and more expertise to support you would be getting on a critical business impact issues and also the engineers directly uh, can give you on your complete architectural support end to end if really needed they would be able to design for you but at the same time if you really need them to be at your own premises also they can come and they can deliver whatever the requirements uh, you have on Microsoft Azure designing site so that's the additional thing but you can't uh, uh, I mean the pricing was not disclosed here because this is part of you need to contact them and uh, you can you know uh, bundle with your enterprise agreement and let's jump into the uh, FAQs of or frequently asked questions so if you see here uh, Azure support is a marketplace where the Azure is offered uh, some services may not be covered in all regions immediately after 
generally available so not all the support you can you know get it for all the regions and also you can get the 24 by 7 uh, but not for all the category of the tickets but if it is a, a and b uh, definitely you will be you know getting the support and for the japanese of a sev a uh, development a plan on c uh, on also the low level security also you would be getting it but not for others as a developer so these are the additional uh, FAQs you can go through it I would be you no know, attaching within this resource section of this lecture and you can submit the request directly from the Azure portal let me show you how to support uh, how to get a or uh, how to raise a ticket so let's say you have an issue with virtual machine example so you can go back to the support here select your required virtual machine and you see you would be you know, getting here new support request so you would be getting this new support request almost on all the Azure resources so you can simply take the plan what you have and then uh, you can you know contact them uh, directly by by typing all that information like a problem type and other things but if you're directly generally open you can always go to help and support from here also you can get it and coming back to the other common community support what you can get is microsoft has tied up with stack overflow where uh, where the engineers will be you know, paid if they can you know, answer more on this stack overflow so you can know officially post here that's what um, it actually means if you just see here they says that documentation white papers and support forums so when they say support forums it means that these all are the support options you can get it let's say the most popular one would be the MSGN forums and Stack Overflow. So in my case, um, I normally use the MSGN forums uh, if I really stuck here. You can post any kind of Azure issues uh, related to the uh, development or any kind of thing and you would be you know, getting this support. So simply go to the community and go to forums. Uh, within this forums, you search for the, the required uh, protocol. For example, in my case, I wanted to uh, post on the using Azure uh, forums or maybe Microsoft Azure Cloud so if I see here I can you know select all the Azure specific and submit that's gonna actually list here every possible questions that are posted you are like me here and I would be you know getting the support you can actually filter it here with the answer questions so if you just want to you know know about the answers questions only so you see here compassion of Azure factory the data factory with the Azure uh, stage and information specific one you would be you know getting here and also if you just you know uh, click on this specific icon it would be you know give you the uh, answer so if it is tick mark that means it's accepted by and uh, it is answered by this guy and it is proposed by answered as this and this is the answer for that question so this is where you can you know post any kind of technical problems you have under free support or you can also post under Stack Overflow, uh, which is again um, a technet uh, kind of you know community forum. Uh, they tagged with the Azure and uh, like in a few people you know freelancers also they actively work here to get it you know answer the question so that they could they would be paid for uh, their work actually. So you see here uh, Azure AD iOS specific uh, client authentication through .NET, this is development side so this was a question and they can you know answer for that this was asked exactly one minute ago so as you know that you know now it's so popular and so useful all the information you can check out here I hope this is useful for you and uh, I made it very clear about you know what kind of you know, plan to be used uh, to take the support plans thank you for watching this